Coastal Carolina's Health Alliance's Mobile Simulation Laboratory was made possible by grant funds. Already it has been in use throughout the region, training nursing staffs at our member hospitals. Trainees have the unique experience of working with lifelike simulators under realistic hospital room conditions to hone their ability to respond quickly and effectively in any given scenario. The central training space in a simulation lab has been outfitted to look, sound, and operate like a patient room. Equipped with medical tools, patient monitors, and scenario-specific instruments, this room is where trainees experience the same visceral encounter as they would in any hospital. Adjacent to the patient room is a space for debriefing, a vital component of the training process where trainees are able to review and discuss their experience. Debriefing also gives participants a chance to reflect on the benefits of using simulation for training. Opposite the debriefing room is the control center of the simulation lab, its technological hub, if you will. Here, the clinical coordinator of the simulation lab conducts the training using computer programs to accelerate, shift, and conclude the training experience. The clinical coordinator does all of this out of sight so as to not disrupt the lifelike atmosphere of the scenario in the next room. The centerpiece of our simulation lab is our collection of simulators which range from newborn to adult and cover an array of training scenarios. Our simulators are available for American Heart Association Advanced Cardiac Life Support Scenarios, Respiratory Emergencies, Pediatric Emergency Care, and even Birthing, just to name a few options participants can choose from. For simulation training, Participants board the simulation lab and gather in the patient room for preliminary instructions and a brief discussion of using simulators. The team receives introductory notes about their patient, including name, basic information, and symptoms. From there, it's up to the team to decide how to proceed by assessing the patient and initiating the appropriate response. With a click of a mouse, the simulation gets underway. There are two main purposes and benefits to doing patient simulation training. One is you get to treat a patient without doing patient harm. The other is working on group dynamics so that the communication between the team members is accurate and you treat patients in a uh, safer manner. What is unique about our system is we have eight simulators going from newborns to adults. The features that they have, they all breathe, they all give us lung sounds, heart sounds, belly sounds, they all have pulses, they can sweat, they can receive IV fluids, and they can even have their pupils dilate. While the nurses and clinical coordinator work through the specific steps of the scenario, the training is being recorded by a series of strategically placed cameras around the patient room. These cameras capture the action from a variety of angles to record each step in the treatment process. The recorded scenario will then be used during the debriefing session for reviewing and discussing the training scenario immediately after it is over. What I found with a lot of first-time users of simulation is that they're very um, nervous and apprehensive of what's going to happen when they get in here. But as soon as they start listening to the patient and listening to the sounds and looking at the monitors, they really um, immerse themselves into the situation. So they feel very comfortable afterwards. In fact, most of them, when they leave here, can't wait for me to return. We're very excited about our mobile simulation lab. In fact, it's one of the only ones on the East Coast that services nursing staff from nine different hospitals. We love giving them the technology and we love sharing it with everybody that we can. So we're trying to get more people on board. So let them know that we're here. For more information about the Mobile Simulation Laboratory, please visit our website at www.coastalalliance.org.